My name is James Milne. I'm an artist and I've been using ballpoints to create artwork for about 16 years. Uh, I've been asked uh, a few times to create a tutorial video uh, for people who are getting started, need to uh, have a few tips and pointers. Um, and in the past I've only really been doing videos for self-promotion and I guess it's a bit selfish. So I am ready to give you a step by step tutorial, um, kind of following the way I've done things or learnt to do things over the years. Uh, okay. I'm using a drawing I'm doing at the moment of Clint Eastwood as an example with this video. Here I'm starting with his uh, cowboy, cowboy hat at the top of the drawing, which is always a good idea. You want to start at the top because as you put pressure down and leaning on the drawing, you don't want the ink you put down at the bottom of the drawing where you'll be applying your body weight on top of it whilst leaning on the drawing um, because that will end up smudging the ink. You want to start at the top and work your way down. For the shading, in, in essence, you can just think about it all being tied together by just one single line and lots of these little single lines together and obviously the more pressure you apply the darker the pen stroke and the lighter pressure the lighter the pen stroke um, and all these little lines are woven together you know they create a whole drawing so to actually demonstrate this here I'm going to start from here which is going to be black to white so you get this gradient and it's just these single strokes over and over, side by side, applying pressure where you need it, and then releasing pressure to let the white paper come through the ink. And it's just very lightly touching the surface where you've decided to have a light area. And here you can really put down some pressure and then push the lines up through it. It does take a time, it really does. The more time you put in it, the more strokes you put down, the cleaner the gradient, the cleaner the finish, the more difficult it is to actually see that these are individual lines that make up the drawing. It's just like this, everything, the whole way, with my drawings, with the shading anyway. In simple terms, that's it. People often ask what kind of pens I use and what kind of paper I do my drawings on. I do just use a normal Bic medium weight ballpoint pen. They do the job, I've never come across a different type of ballpoint that's had any other kind of advantage over it. So I stick with that. In terms of paper, there are loads of brands. Ideally, what you really want is a thick paper, around 250 GSM, so that can absorb the pressure of the, um, the little pin head full point at the end. If you uh, put down all of that pressure on thin paper, the paper can warp. So the thick paper absorbs it and absorbs the ink nicely. When using the um, single pen stroke uh, shading technique that I showed earlier, I often actually curve the pen strokes a little bit um, and sort of wrap them around the natural contours of the object I'm drawing. That gives a more organic and uh, natural, more realistic effect. When working on dark areas like I am here, you do get a build up of ink on the tip of the ballpoint and to avoid that build up, 
suddenly falling onto the paper and causing a mess. I've got in the habit over the years of just basically doing this every uh, every so often just to get rid of that build up before it makes an error for me. It's a good habit to get into.